Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Wednesday, February 16th. This week, the Korea Fair Trade Commission confirmed that it sent a report to Tesla claiming that the automaker exaggerated the range of some of its models, which it believes is in violation of the Act on Fair Labeling and Advertising. In a report from Reuters, they say, quote, Tesla on its website says its Model 3 can travel 528 kilometers, or 328 miles, on a single charge. The Korea Fair Trade Commission says, however, that the range may fall short of that should the temperature drop below freezing. Now, at Electrek, we find this strange because all vehicles experience different efficiency and therefore range based on different conditions. This actually isn't limited to electric vehicles either, and certainly not Tesla. Actually, the term your mileage may vary is an informal entry in both the Oxford and Cambridge Dictionary. The problem could stem from the tests that are used to advertise in South Korea. In the country, they use the Worldwide Harmonized Light Vehicle Test Procedure, which is generally more generous than the final numbers. Really, it doesn't seem like an exclusive issue for Tesla at all. Several Tesla employees and contractors at Tesla Gigafactory Texas posted videos on Snapchat from inside the factory, giving us a rare look at the production lines. With the release of their latest earnings report, Tesla did release some pictures from inside, but we only had a limited look so far. And now employees and contractors who decided to share their day on Snapchat gave us a rare look at the productions with a great number of robots poised for work. One of the videos includes a look at what appears to be a bunch of completed Model Y vehicles, signaling that real production may begin quite soon. Tesla has signed a contract to secure lithium supply from an upcoming mine in Australia, developed by a company called Liontown. At Tesla's Battery Day, they announced that they would buy all batteries that they could, at a fair price, and they also announced that Tesla themselves is entering the mining business in order to keep production going. Aside from regular suppliers, last month Tesla signed such a deal to secure nickel from Talon Metals, a new mine in the USA. And now, sure enough, Tesla and Liontown have now announced another similar agreement, but this time for lithium in Australia. The project is called Kathleen Valley. It's located 680 kilometers northeast of Perth. Major construction work at the mine is expected to start towards the end of the year for a start of production in 2024 or 25. At Electrek, we expect more announcements and agreements in this vein coming soon. In a wide-ranging AMA on Reddit, Volkswagen CEO Herbert Dees provided answers to a ton of questions from the Reddit community, and some of which were news to us. On the subject of LiDAR, Dees surprisingly took a different look than his friend Elon Musk. Dees remarked that LiDAR, more specifically redundant perception, was integral to getting Level 3 autonomy. Later on, he clarified that Level 3 autonomy requires redundant LiDAR perception. He also spoke on the huge investment in software that the company was making, the simplification of brand levels, and an inexpensive model that Volkswagen is working on. Indeed, Herbert Dees has confirmed that Volkswagen is working on such a vehicle, saying their current price target for an EV would be around €20,000, or $22,700. Volkswagen is also working to have a summer software update for certain vehicles to offer bi-directional charging and -and plug-and-charge capability. Jaguar Land Rover is partnering with NVIDIA to use their Drive Hyperion 8 platform for future vehicles. NVIDIA system will power autonomous and driver assistance systems and will render visualization of the vehicle's environment. The partnership is not just limited to hardware, as Jaguar will use the NVIDIA AI and engineers throughout the development process for new vehicles. The Drive Hyperion platform uses NVIDIA's Drive Orin processor, capable of well over 200 trillion operations per second, which, they say, significantly outperforms Tesla's full self-driving computer. NVIDIA has already signed quite a few partnerships to share their hardware and software with other automakers, positioning themselves as one of the major players in AI and autonomous driving. In today's community comment, the channel Grateful says, quote, Mr. Musk is very generous and a great contributor to our society. Actually, in contrast to this, another comment from the channel Beat is the Man says, quote, Turns out his donation to world hunger was a lie. Now, in my take, the situation has a little more nuance, and the truth is in there somewhere. 
It does seem that Elon Musk sold a portion of his wealth to combat world hunger, which is more than I can say that I've done. However, it also seems that the donation was done at the threat of a looming tax bill. I can't say for certain what was going on through Elon Musk's mind when he decided to sell his shares, and by the way, we still don't even know if that's actually what happened, but if he did donate billions of dollars to a food charity, I really don't need to know his motives. It's inspiring nonetheless. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.